Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 164th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Now to start off, I want to preface by saying I'm going to try to keep this episode shorter and it's primarily because I've been swamped lately with the new iPad launch and free app life. And that leads me right into my first point. So yesterday on November 1st, Apple released the iPad Air to the general public. So I was able to pick mine up. I have created two videos since. The first was an unboxing and giveaway video where I announced my all new iPad Air giveaway. So yes, I am going to give away a brand new iPad Air to one lucky winner. It's very simple to enter. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, like the video, and leave a relevant comment in the comments section of my unboxing video with your Instagram username. So I will have a link, of course, to the video down below in the more info. And in addition to actually unboxing the iPad Air and announcing the giveaway in that video, I also compared against some of the leaked fifth generation iPad or iPad Air components that I received prior to the device's announcement even. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really awesome video. And speaking of awesome videos, the second one I created on the iPad Air is pretty great too. I detail it with its new A7 64-bit processor. So for those of you who are unaware, the iPad Air is Apple's very first iPad to feature its own new A7 64-bit SoC or system on a chip. Of course, the iPhone 5S was the first smartphone of any kind to launch with the 64-bit processor. And now the iPad Air is falling after the iPhone 5S. It features the same A7 64-bit chip. It's just clocked slightly higher. And in that video, I not only run some tests, but I give you guys a quick review of the iPad Air. And I also compare it against the fourth generation iPad somewhat in depth. So just be sure to check that out. Again, I'll have links to both of those new videos below. Now next up, I want to talk about jailbreaking. So referencing an article from Jailbreak iOS Evasion, the week of the iPad Air and second generation iPad mini announcement was unquestionably one of the most exciting weeks for jailbreak enthusiasts around the globe. And that's not only because the new iPads were revealed, but also because the company issued iOS 7.0.3 to the public. So once famed hacker muscle nerd of the evaders confirmed that the team could jailbreak 7.0.3 and that the firmware had virtually no impact on iOS 7 jailbreak development, it was reported on Jailbreak iOS Evasion that everything's starting to fall into place for the dev team. Now upon hearing that, other news sources took the information to an unconfirmed extreme, suggesting that the Evaders will release a 7.0.3 Jailbreak immediately following Apple's release of the new iPad models. Now while it's certainly possible that the team could release an iOS 7 tool Following the iPad Mini 2's release, the device won't be available until the end of November, even though the iPad Air is currently available right now. It's simply unconfirmed at this point. What we currently know is that the evaders are working diligently on the iOS 7 and 7.0.3 jailbreak utility, and that the team has all that they need as far as major vulnerabilities are concerned. Like with past jailbreaks, the primary piece now is time. So the team needs to get their hands on the latest iPad models and make any necessary adjustments. After all, the hackers on the jailbreak scene want to ensure that all current iDevices will be supported prior to a release as Apple will surely patch the jailbreak soon after it's made publicly available like they've always done in one fail swoop with a software update. And at the moment, members of the evaders are declining to give any sort of an official time frame because they aren't aware if they'll encounter potential setbacks. But of course, I will keep you guys completely updated on the next untethered iOS 7 through 7.0.3 jailbreak to come from the evaders here on my YouTube channel. So just be sure to stay tuned. I'll have all of the best jailbreak news and tutorial coverage once the utility is released to the public. And I'm also planning on doing somewhat of a more in-depth jailbreak update video here in the next few days, so just be sure to watch for that. And finally, I wanted to discuss free app life. So for those of you who've been following me for the past eight months or so, I've been working with Adrian from Jailbreak Nation and iPod Uplink and Marcus from Weblin Installer to bring you guys, my audience, the very best service in sponsored applications and app redemptions. So if you guys are unfamiliar with free app life, I'm going to give you the rundown really quick. Essentially how it works is users go to the service, sign up for it, and once they do, they'll be able to download any of the sponsored applications on the sponsor wall. Once they download an application, open it for about 30 seconds and interact with it, the next time they go back to free app life and refresh, they will receive the correct point value. They can then use those points to purchase various gift cards, prizes, and application codes for Apple's app store. 
So it's really simple and great. And it also has the very best conversion rate for you guys, the users. So basically what that means is that the majority of the money that the sponsors pay for actually advertising on the service will go back into it to provide you guys with rewards. The rest will mostly go towards maintenance. We, and when I say we, I mostly mean Marcus with all of his coding skills from Webland Installer are working very hard to bring you guys this awesome and incredible service. As I'm sure many of you know, we launched a beta version of Free App Life some months ago, and since then we've discovered a lot of bugs in the service. So Marcus has been hard at work to completely rebuild it from the ground up, and we're planning on launching it very soon. In fact, I'm going to integrate it into my iPad Air giveaway. So for users who want to potentially double their entries to win a brand new iPad Air, all they have to do once Free App Life 1.0 launches is go to the service, sign up, and download any of the sponsored applications. Once they do that, they'll automatically double their entries for the iPad Air. And that's it for this episode. Don't forget, you can still enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video simply by reading it up and hitting that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos for the iPad Air giveaway. Visit my unboxing video and stay tuned for the free App Life 1.0 announcement. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section for your relevant comment, Try answering the question of the day. Let me know what you guys think about Apple's all new iPad Air. And of course, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me over your circles inside of Google+. And like I said before, follow me on Instagram at ICUID. Links to everything below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.